Hey guys, my name is Superdot, and in this video, I'm going to show you the best emulation settings for PCSX2 in Gran Turismo 4. This video will cover the game itself, my PC specs, and the settings I used on the PCSX2 emulator. This video will help make Gran Turismo 4 look as great as possible as it does in my videos. You can download the nightly build of PCSX2 from the PCSX2 website, and I'll put the link in the description. In Gran Turismo 4 on PCSX2, the performance is quite heavy on the GPU than on the CPU. The better the GPU, the better on how the game looks. I have a mid-range gaming PC which will make the game run at full speed with no problems at all. Your performance will depend on your specs and the settings you use. You can also find my PC specs in the description. These are the settings I use for Gran Turismo 4. This is the button config I use for the controller in the game. When you're in the options menu, go to screen, and then make sure it's by 16 by 9, and then select the video output to progressive 480p, and then press OK. To access the secret menu, press L1 up, L2 down, R1 left, R2 right, and press start on the second controller. And the secret menu will appear like this. So go to monitor settings. Everything else is on default, except the overscan factor, which I put it to 0.80. If you want to enable cheats for the game, make sure the enable cheats button is checked. Then you copy the CRC code. Once you're in the cheats folder of the PSX2 directory, right click, Go to text document and then paste the CRC code and then replace TXT to PNACH and press yes. And these are the cheats I used if anyone wants to use them. I'm also using the improved HUD and remastered texture packs and I'll put the link in the description for both of them. To access the advanced settings, go to tools, and then make sure the show advanced settings is checked. If you want to do the license tests, make sure you go to advanced, and then go to where you see a motion engine, and then set the clamping mode to normal, and then set it back to full when not doing the license tests. If you're having issues with low performance, you can try lowering the internal resolution until you find a sweet spot. If not, you can try lowering the anisotropic filtering, and if that doesn't work, you can try lowering the blending accuracy to basic or to minimum. And if that doesn't work, the only thing I can help you with is go to advanced, and then right where it says override texture barriers, you select force disabled, and then that should get rid of low performance. Also, one more thing I can help you with is that whenever you're in a game, 
you can press F9 on your keyboard to enter software mode and then that should also get rid of low performance. And that wraps up the video. If this video helps you, leave a like and if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe whenever I upload a video and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.